The Most Dangerous Game by Richard Connell Summarized by James Readme As the sun set on the deserted island, the hunter knew he was in trouble. He had heard rumors of a notorious game hunter who had made this island his hunting ground, but he had dismissed them as idle talk. Now, as he hid in the underbrush, he realized his mistake. The hunter had been outsmarted, captured, and now he was the prey in the most dangerous game of all. The hunter had been stripped of all his weapons and left with nothing but his wits. The game hunter, a man of immense wealth and power, had promised to release him if he survived for three days on the island. The hunter knew he had to find a way to survive. He started by hiding in the trees, sleeping during the day and moving at night. He drank from streams and foraged for fruit, doing everything he could to stay alive. But he knew he couldn't keep this up for long. On the third day, the hunter realized he was being tracked. The game hunter was getting closer, and he could hear his footsteps on the dry leaves. The hunter knew he had to make a stand, and he climbed up a tree to wait for his pursuer. The game hunter appeared, a powerful figure dressed in jungle gear, his eyes scanning the trees for his prey. The hunter waited until he was directly underneath him before leaping down, knife in hand. The two men grappled rolling on the ground as they fought for their lives. In the end, the hunter emerged victorious, holding the game hunter at bay with his knife. The game hunter, beaten and humiliated, left the island in defeat. The hunter made it back to civilization, changed by his experience on the island. He had been pushed to the brink of survival and come out the other side, a stronger, more resilient man. From that day on, he knew that he could survive anything as long as he had the will to fight.